you got, buddy? Hell yeah, Light. Thank I'm glad you came through for the one on one. You're always welcome here. DP for so much. So, as much as it sucks to get hit by Soul Sidewinder, I thought that was a, one of the coolest things that he, he's ever had in a game. I liked the clean hit mechanic too, or at least the idea behind it. Some dumb shit with you and Agi.
then I'm glad we were able to get you tonight, Crooked Train. Crooked, crooked Tricking. Thanks for coming through. We got a good crew here. Waiting for that air dash too. Alright, crooked. Appreciate it. Oh. expecting to catch me like that. Cricket is also a pretty cool name, but that's really funny. Oh! All right, I don't. Let's call this the last round because I gotta open up the lobby after this.
All right, good stuff, Idonis. I'm gonna hop out and oh, and reopen this as a open lobby, and then after that, uh, I will get into some of the crit. But GG's, Idonis. Glad you came through for some one on ones. So, if you want to if you want to jump in this open lobby, the code is or the the name is West Coast. It's openly searchable. We are on PC. Anyone is welcome. If you're trying to get some games as a newbie, we got some newbies. Uh, either in the stream chat or some sometimes they come through in this room too. Um, but yeah, anyone's welcome. Y'all get some games in. I don't miss GG's homie. That was some that was some fun stuff. Uh, I think so. The biggest thing that came through to me there there were there were. I'll, I'll focus on two things. One, you are your air approaches are predictable. You are either jump back and air dash in if you're really far away you might d jump back and double air dash in or you will like jump straight up air dash backwards and air dash forward y you need to use that move to make your movement patterns more confusing and they're definitely not confusing at all almost every air dash i saw like even the ones that i didn't anti-air they were ones where i was looking for the anti-air and you never want that to happen um so you need to get less predictable with your movements and a lot of that is uh, making sure that you alternate between using air dash to approach and using air dash to buy space for you to get projectiles out um, and using air dash to like as a mix-up tool when you already have the uh, the momentum that kind of shit so the first thing is yeah you're just way too predictable with air dash and you're specifically using it in a place in a place where you always end up right in front of me like right in 6p range 6p is a good anti-air if i'm in the exact right place to hit it but like it doesn't really hit that high up so if you go over chip you can often just like coast on right past it and obviously there's no like cross up protection on it so if you cross me up then i will get screwed right but none of that was happening you were basically just doing a lot of the same stuff over and over um the second thing you need to work on you need to use the, your projectiles to set up a game plan right i don't know how you open me up from from like like because i don't play dizzy so i don't know what she's supposed to do when she has the projectiles but you had a lot of opportunities to get out a projectile and then approach safely and you inevitably were not actually doing it in a way where it was tight and so i could 6p or it was easy to block or whatever right sometimes the option is just going to be to run up and throw sometimes you've got you've got to set up like a neat left right mix up using the air dash you know she, I, I know she doesn't have th that much in the way of high lows but you got to find something and homie you weren't finding it like you were not opening me up very effectively so even if you did manage to get past the the 6p like you didn't get anti-aired and you got your approach in and you had your projectiles out you, you were not able to turn that into an opportunity obviously the easy the, yeah the easy one is is looking for micro dash and to throw uh, uh options especially because you can combo off that throw right but no matter what it is, you got to find something, man. Because as it was, you were throwing the projectiles and I would move out of the way so as to not, not get hit by them. But then you didn't have a plan for what happened afterwards, right? So yeah, use ice fish to tick throw. Like if you're using the, the, like the homing shit to, to push me in the air or you're using the like fire laser to push me in the air, then have a plan to air throw me afterwards, right? Do that shit. Make it so that your, your projectiles are not what start, they're not how you finish, right? They're how you get me to move in the place that you want me to move. Um, but yeah, so you were pushing me in the air and then nothing happened. Being in the air is actually really vulnerable, right? Like, because you have anti-air options and like if you're in the right place at the right time i can't beat your air throw so take advantage of that right don't plan on i'm standing there and blocking the the projectiles plan on uh me getting in there or uh, me jumping over them or me moving around them and have a plan for what happens next exactly that's what's up doom the summon should not be there because it's doing the work the summon is there to force something out of me and you need to be ready for what i do after you summon so you start using those projectiles a little bit more strategically. You start using them not because they give you the thing you want, but because they make me do something that you can beat. Uh, and then I start getting scared about those projectiles. Like in this round, I was bare, or in this set, I wasn't even running at you that much. I wasn't really teleporting that much. I was mostly just waiting for you to come in um, and so I could anti-air you. 
And when you didn't come in and you threw a projectile, you weren't getting any work off of it. So you work on that stuff, and then and then I'll have to I'll have to like actually turn on the aggression, and we'll get back to like the defensive play. But I wanted to give you some room to breathe today, and I did. And I felt, and to me, it just felt like you weren't even get, when given all the opportunity to play to Dizzy's strengths, you didn't have that game part of your game like locked in yet. So work on that shit, 